Chapter 2, Elliptic Curves. Chapter Goals. Oh, by the way, uh, Free Code Camp listening to Code Radio. Sable featuring Tor Edamame. Chapter Goals, Elliptic Curves. To describe what an elliptic curve is, to explain the basic mathematics behind elliptic curve cryptography, to show how projective coordinates can be used to improve computational efficiency, to show how point compression can be used to improve communications efficiently. Introduction. This chapter is devoted to introducing elliptic curves. Some of the more modern public key systems make use of elliptic curves since they can offer improved efficiency and bandwidth. Since much of this book can be read by understanding that an elliptic curve provides another finite abelian group in which one can pose a discrete logarithm problem. You may decide to skip this chapter on an initial reading. Okay, but let me go back again. He says this book, much of it can be read by understanding that an elliptic curve provides another finite abelian group in which one can pose a discrete logarithm problem. All right, let K be any field. The projective plane, P2 of K, where K is defined as the set of triples X, Y, Z, where X, Y, Z is an element of K and are not all simultaneously zero. On these triples is defined an equivalence relation. X, Y, Z is identical to or related to X prime, Y prime, Z prime. If there exists a lambda in K such that x equals lambda x prime, y equals lambda y prime, and z equals lambda z prime. So k probably stands for uh, some, uh, looks like field. So that represents a constant, right? Like these are linear relations. So for example, if k is equal to f sub 7, the finite field of 7 elements, then the two points f411 uh, one, one, and 533 three are equivalent. Such a triple is called a projective point. Uh, maybe I'll show that sometime. Because this can be worked out and verified. An elliptic curve over K will be defined as the set of solutions in the projective plane P2 of K of a homogeneous Weierstrass equation of the form E colon Y squared Z plus A1 XYZ plus A3 YZ squared equals X cubed plus a sub 2 x squared z, plus a sub 4 x z squared, plus a sub 6 z to the third, with a1, a2, a3, a4, and a6 elements of k. Um, I guess we can think of that as f sub 7. This equation, uh, k as f sub 7, this equation is also referred to as the long Weierstrass form. Such a curve should be non-singular in the sense that if the equation is written in the form f of x, y, z equals zero, then the partial derivatives of the curve equation, the partial derivative of f with respect to x, the partial derivative of f with respect to y, and the partial derivative of f with respect to z should not vanish simultaneously at any point on the curve. Mm. All right, so they don't equal zero simultaneously. 
uh, at any point on the curve. The set of k rational points on E, i.e. the solutions in P2 of k to the above equation is denoted by E of k. Notice that the curve has exactly one rational point with coordinate z equal to 0, namely 0, 1, 0. This is the point at infinity which will be denoted by O. 0, 1, 0, the point at infinity which will be denoted by O. For convenience, we will most often use the affine version of the Weierstrass equation given by E colon E such that y squared plus a sub 1 xy plus a sub 3 y equals x cubed plus a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 4 x plus a sub 6, where a sub i is an element of k. The k rational points in the affine case are the solutions to e in k squared. Well, that's really like k2, like two-dimensional. Plus, uh, that's what I think it is anyway, plus the point at infinity o. Although most protocols for elliptic curve-based cryptography make use of the affine form of a curve, it is often computationally important to be able to switch to pro projective coordinates. Luckily, this switch is easy. The point at infinity always maps to the point at infinity in either direction. The map To map a projective point, x, y, z, which is not at infinity, so z is not zero, to an affine point, we simply compute x, uh, let me say, call this x mod z and y mod z. So it's x mod z comma y mod z. To map an affine point x comma y, which is not at infinity, to a projective point, we take a random non-zero z in k and compute x dot x times z y time comma y times z comma z. So x dot z comma y dot z comma z. As we shall see later. It is often more convenient to use a slightly modified form of projective point where the projective point x, y, z represents the affine point x mod z squared comma y mod z cubed. By the way, I'm listening to Obsidian Skyline, City Girl, Neon e Impasse, if you can hear any of that music while I'm reading. Given an elliptic curve defined by equation 5, it is useful to define the following constants for use in later formulae. b sub 2 equals a sub 1 squared plus 4a sub 2. b sub 4 equals a sub 1 times a sub 3 plus 2a sub 4. b sub 6 equals a sub 3 squared plus 4a sub 6. B sub 8 equals a sub 1 squared a sub 6 plus 4 a sub 2 a sub 6 minus a 1 a 3 a 4 plus a 2 a 3 squared minus a 4 squared. C4 equals b2 squared minus 2, 24 b4. C6 equals negative b2 cubed plus 36 b squared b4 minus 216 b6. See, it's useful to define the following constants for use in later formulae. So he defined it this way. Although it'd be interesting to come up with why he came up with this particular set of constants. The discriminant of the curve is defined as, let's just say delta equals negative b sub 2 squared b sub 8 minus 8 b sub 4 cubed minus 27 b sub 6 squared 
plus 9b sub 2b sub 4b sub 6. So they're using delta to represent the discriminant of the curve. Um, what is this? It's quiet. When char k, I guess the characteristic, is not equal to 2, so when the characteristic of k, c-h-a-r-k, is not equal to 2, comma, 3, the discriminant can also be expressed as delta equals parentheses c sub 4 cubed minus c sub 6 squared, close parentheses, divided by 1728, 1728. So c4 cubed minus c6 squared divided by 1728. Now notice that 1728 is 2 to the 6, 3 cubed. So if the characteristic is not equal to 2 or 3, dividing by this latter quantity makes sense. A curve is then non-singular if and only if a delta is not equal to 0, the discriminant. From now on, so the curve is non-singular if and only if, goes both ways, that the discriminant is non-zero. From now on, we shall assume that delta, the discriminant, is not zero in all our discussions. This is uh, Two Soulful Trebles and Blues, 60 Days with Trebles. All right, let's see. When the discriminant is non-zero, delta is not zero, the J invariant of the curve is defined as J of E equals C sub 4 cubed divided by delta, divided by the discriminant. Well, of course, it has to be non-zero, right, if you're going to divide by it? So that's okay. So as an example, which we shall use throughout this chapter, we consider the elliptic curve E such that y squared equals x cubed plus x plus 3, defined over the field f sub 7. Computing the various quantities above, we find that we have delta equals 3 and j of e equals 5. All right, so probably be a good exercise to commute, compute those quantities, okay, where the discriminant delta equals 3 and j of e is 5. The J invariant is closely related to the notion of elliptic curve isomorphism. So the J invariant is closely related to the idea of elliptic curve isomorphism. Two elliptic curves defined by Weierstrass equations, E, with vari variables x, comma, y, and E prime, with variables x prime, y prime, are isomorphic over k if and only if there exist constants r, s, t in k and u in k star such that the change of variables x equals u squared x prime plus r, y equals u cubed y prime plus s u squared x prime plus t. That's Ahmad Heavy Short, Tom Mish, uh, Beat Tape 1. Okay, the group law. Okay, so these equations, such that the change of variables, x equals u squared x prime plus r, y equals u cubed y prime plus s u squared x prime plus t, transforms e into E prime. Such an isomorphism defines a bijection between the set of rational points in E and the set of rational points in E prime. Notice that isomorphism is defined relative to the field K. As an example, consider again the elliptic curve E such that y squared equals x cubed plus x plus 3 over the field F7. Now make the change of variables defined by bracket u comma r comma s comma t close brackets equals bracket two comma three comma four comma five. 
So U is 2, R is 3, S is 4, and T is 5. So uh, IE, X equals 4X prime plus 3, and Y equals Y prime plus 2X prime plus 5. We then obtain the isomorphic curve E prime such that Y prime squared plus 4X prime Y prime plus 3Y prime equals X prime cubed plus X prime plus 1. And we have J of E equals J of E prime equals 5. Curve isomorphism is an equivalence relation. The following lemma establishes the fact that over the algebraic closure, K with a bar over the top, the J invariant characterizes the equivalence classes in this relation. Okay, so over curve isomorphism is an equivalence relation. The following lemma establishes the fact that over the algebraic closure K bar, the J invariant characterizes the equivalence classes in this relation. Okay, lemma 2.1. Two elliptic curves that are isomorphic over K have the same J invariant. Conversely, two curves with the same J invariant are isomorphic over K bar, the algebraic, that's the algebraic closure of K. Two elliptic curves that are isomorphic over K have the same J invariant. Conversely, two curves with the same J invariant are isomorphic over K bar. All right, but curves with the same J invariant may not necessarily be isomorphic over the ground field. For example, consider the elliptic curve also over F7. E double prime such that Y double prime squared equals X double prime cubed plus 4X double prime plus 4. This has J invariant equal to 5, so it is isomorphic to E, but it is not isomorphic over F7 since the change of variable required is given by x equals 3x double prime, and y equals the square root of 6, y double prime. However, the square root of 6 is not an element of f7. Hence, we say both e and e double prime are defined over the field f sub 7, but they are isomorphic over f sub 7 squared, which is f sub 7 bracket square root of 6. So that's like what the polynomials uh, square root of 6 everything you extend the field with that one element root 6. Anyway thank you.